journalists are not always portrayed as patriotic, but we are. And we want the country to thrive. This is how clear it is that American society is still struggling. And one of the ways it can do well is to have a public that knows how to consume news. And we just literally saw what can happen when people consume bad information. We fought with these people who were prepared. And all you need to do is look to January 6th. More than anything I can remember in modern history, this was an event driven by misinformation. Did the people who were there tell you why they were there? We're stopping the steal. That's why we as journalists, every time we go on air, every time we write something, we need to be at our absolute best. Think about this. Every 12 minutes, a firearm is being used to take a life in this country. My name is Pierre Thomas. I'm Chief Justice Correspondent for ABC News. Tens of thousands of Americans shot dead or wounded by guns in this country. I've been a journalist for more than 30 years. During that time, the change has been extraordinary. Hey, Jack. Hey, Pierre. Just yeah. um, wanted to check in with the team and uh, see what's going on and talk about some stuff. The news is dynamic. Things can go from happening to being published in seconds. How does one discern what is propaganda, misinformation? How does one determine what is news? If they've not been given a sense of how to separate what is what, you can see how it would naturally be confusing. I think the worst case scenario is an American citizen is increasingly disconnected from facts and truth. I don't want to even consider what the country becomes if that becomes the norm across the board. In this day and age where disinformation, misinformation is rampant in ways that we haven't seen perhaps ever, I can't think of something more important than what the News Literacy Project stands for and what it's trying to do. I believe in the News Literacy Project mission been able to go into the classroom. I've been able to give remarks at a, an auditorium with multiple classes at once. The News Literacy Project is about people like you. And you literally can see the lights going on in their heads. So I got to meet a lot of the teachers and others who are working in the classroom, and they see the impact. And if you begin to multiply that across communities, states, and the nation, we become healthier. To be named the News Literacy Project, John S. Carroll Journalist of the Year, means the world to me. I'm humbled by it. The organization, I believe, is helping to make journalism and our democracy healthier. But given what's at stake in this moment that we find ourselves, we have to get as many people to know how to discern what is the news and how to consume it as possible. Thank you.